Welcome back. We now hear from David Shapiro, President of Health Alliance, and Dr. Carol Smith, Ulster County's Health Commissioner, and their reaction to the Gray Day announcement. I think it's really important because it bridges the technology and the research that's being done outside of Ulster County, but it also helps people connect to what's going on right here in Ulster County. Ulster County, we're not going to do any of the high-tech, high-performance uh, research or technology that other folks are going to do, but what we do is deliver great care on the ground. How do we help people navigate through the system? How do we make sure that through the foundations that support us deeply, that they get the financial aid that they need to be able to come for their treatments, to pay for their gas, to make sure that their meals are taken care of? Um, I think that's what's really important to Ulster County. It's all about it's all about high profile. People need. If, if I asked you today, what do you think the statistics are on brain cancer? The answer would probably be I don't know. And the answer to me was I don't know. So I think it's awareness. It's getting it into the public awareness so that people are sensitive to it and they realize that by the grace of God, it's not them. It's very important because certainly in Ulster County, the Department of Health, the county executive, we're all committed to making Ulster a healthier county. We've made progress. We've actually gone up in the county health rankings, but there's a lot of work left to be done. And certainly chronic diseases, certainly cancer, uh, these are issues that we are all concerned about as are members of our community. And you know, whenever you take on a challenge like preventing and fighting against cancer, it really does take a community. It takes everyone, the advocates of individuals, um, the public at large, and the work and the support of the government um, structures, uh, the health department, be it on the local level or the state level, and we're all actively working with the same mission. We want to prevent cancer, we want to make healthier, uh, more productive, happier lives for the people of our community. Well, cancer research um, certainly is a, probably the most important element in this. Um, you know, as a physician, I do know that even though we've come away in medicine, there's always a long way to go and lots of questions that remain to be answered. And really it's in research and finding the answers to these questions that we're going to help to prevent the disease in the first place. But, you know, so we're all in support of research, that research takes money. Uh, lots of money, um, and you know whatever we can do to help support it, we we will work for that um, to that end. My reaction: There's a famous quote by Winston Churchill, and he said that courage is the first of the good qualities because it guarantees all the others. And it takes a lot of courage for someone who is currently battling a disease that may seem overwhelming and could be overwhelming to them in the future, but the courage of people like J.J. Hansen, uh, the courage of people who are here to support the cause, who have lost loved ones, I've lost loved ones to cancer, um, you know, that really helps to inspire us uh, and motivate us to finding the causes and better treatment for this disease. I think for us it's really being able to connect to larger entities, whether they be larger uh, facilities like Westchester Medical Center, and also to research folks so that we can take some of the advances they have made and bring them to the local community. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amy Green. Tune in next week for another edition of Hudson Valley Week in Review. Good night.